Now today, the portrait of a warrior gallery in downtown Bakersfield will hold a roll call to recognize 27 Kern County fallen heroes. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido spoke with a mother of one of those soldiers about what today's date means to her. Daniela. That's right. Good morning. Well, we've been sharing this emotional story with you all morning. It's the story of a mother of one of the 27 Kern County fallen heroes that's displayed at the Portrait of a Warrior Gallery in downtown Bakersfield. And she shared with us what 9-11 has meant to her and her life. The way the towers were coming down, he could not believe it. It was unbelievable to him. Yeah, that's all he talked about for about two weeks. A mom, mom, this poor people, their family, you know, and the events of 9-11 shook the nation in many aspects, but for some, the impact was so hard, they chose to fight for justice and enlist to serve our country. I said, you know there's a war going on. I said, you know that's where you're going to end up. And he said, I know. I said, aren't you afraid to die out there? He goes, Mom, I could die here, car accident, or I could get a heart attack. Maria Garcia is the mother of one of the 27 post 9-11 Kern County veterans featured in the portrait of a warrior gallery in downtown Bakersfield, each with their own unique portrait in their memory. I mean, they put country first before themselves. I mean, they know where they're going. They know they're going to end up at war. They knew the sacrifice. They went ahead and did it. I mean, you know, they volunteered when so many don't even consider volunteering for the country. Her son Alberto Garcia was born and raised in Bakersfield and enlisted in the army in 2004. His dream was to serve in Germany. He goes, Mom, I get to go over there. I said, well, good for you. I said, good for you. That's what you want, right? He goes, yes. So he was excited. He was very excited. And then after a year there, he came home. We were overjoyed, and one day he said, well, Mom, I need to tell you that uh, I'm being deployed to Iraq. Alberto served in Iraq for nine months. He was 23 years old and only a month away from returning home when he died in action in Iraq. I was always listening to the news every morning before I went to work, and I heard about two casualties. And uh, before I walked out the door, I tapped on the TV to turn it off, and I said, that's not my boy. Today, among a gallery of portraits, Alberto Garcia's portrait stands out as one of the most youthful faces to have served from our community. Uh, when he was a little boy in school, and this other picture is in Iraq, was taken in Iraq. When Maria was asked if she would have it any other way, she said she hopes her son's legacy will live on long after she's gone. And every time we got a chance, we spoke on the phone. And um, like I said, at times he was happy, at times he was distant, of course, because of the situation that was going over there. But no, uh, there was nothing left out. What I do wish, though, one thing that haunts me is that I wish I was there with him, holding his hand and saying everything's going to be okay. And as you can see behind me this morning, the Bakersfield Fire Department is preparing for their annual 9-11 ceremony, except this year they'll be live streaming it on their Facebook page. We're also going to have that on our 23 ABC Facebook page, and that's going to be at 830 this morning. But at 730 this morning, the Portrait of a Warrior Gallery will also be doing a roll call of those 27 Kern County fallen heroes. For now, we're live at Bakersfield Fire Department. I'm Daniela Garrido, 23 ABC News, connecting you.